So what can MZ Catcher do and what are they? So MZ Catchers had been manufactured by companies that were active in the test and analytics arena, selling equipment to operators or governments, in this case for MZ Catchers, to operate for them. And they were costing, or the cost of an MZ Catcher in the past had been range of uh, five or six digit numbers even. And with the availability of a uh, mac femto or macro cells such as this one here that was probably ripped off um, like a ferry or boat which we bought off email for a few hundred dollars and the open source community that developed software to operate these kind of devices uh, for the purpose of demonstrating vulnerabilities of the networks uh, it's probably possible for every technically kind person to uh, replicate these kind of attacks with this equipment for something that's saying starting at $500 or maybe $2,000 up to $2,000. Also the availability of software defined radios uh, hasn't helped in this situation. So this, these devices are pretty common actually and um, available for the same private eyes or uh, criminals or just people that are curious about the what's going on in the neighborhood and um, in this case we have this device are now uh, parking on this MZ catchers I can say so let's review what kind of subscribers currently on this on this MZ catcher and um, in this case, the MZ Catcher also provides IP connectivity to this uh, to this phone. So this right now the IP address that was assigned to it, and in this case it's man in the middle, true man in the middle attack. And um, I can send SMS to these devices now. I can snoop on the uh, I can snoop on the IP connected connections. I actually provide the DNS lookup. I see now that this device wanted to connect to Google, uh, queried an IP address of Facebook, and uh, try to open a connection to mtalk.net. And this, for instance, is a company that operates uh, telling machines that we have here in the neighborhood. We have um, uh, automatic telling machines for uh, soft drinks, snacks, and uh, they operate these modems from the Telet company. And uh, there's a card reader, credit card reader attached to it. And um, these readers open up communication to a credit card clearing house. And this is something that an MZ catcher would be able to uh, Snoop on. Uh, we have here the IP address assigned to this tele modem, and um, we can see here that this modem was trying to contact nax.net. This is a company that operates this, uh, yeah, let's say the telling machine. And uh, if you would swipe your credit card now, then you would see a communication going between this modem and the server over here. And this is what makes this MZ catcher so dangerous. So we have uh, mobile phones that can connect to it. The attacker could uh, capture all the IP communication. It could be uh, modems that uh, send telemetry information to a uh, network, or it could be, in this case, uh, kind of a autonomous machine that accepts coins or uh, credit cards in order to dispense any kind of goods. And this I would say this is an important aspect of, uh, of these environments, what uh, First Point has to offer in terms of detecting this kind of attacks and protecting from this kind of attacks.